Okay, so let's try this one. The questions I ask you on Monday will be similar to these. Using the lens equations and the magnification equation, what can you say about the image of an object located at distance d0 equals 2f? So here's the focal length of the lens. Suppose I put an object at twice, oh, pardon me, let me start this off. At twice the object focal length away, so d0 is 2f. What can you say about the image? Remember the lens, thin lens equation and the magnification equation. All right, so the majority of the class, this was, I think, one of the checkpoint questions or the pre-lecture questions. The image is inverted and smaller than the object is what most of you said. Anyone want to give me a quick explanation for how that works? No? No volunteers? So we are using that. And the actual answer is, why is that? So suppose I replace this by 1 over 2f. What I will have to get is, think about it, 1 half plus 1 half is going to give you 1, right? So di has to be 2f2. If di and do are both 2f, then the magnification is going to be negative, but with magnitude 1. So when you're faced with a question like this, even though it looks like a conceptual question, how you're going to try and answer a question like this is actually put pen to paper and try and work it out from this equation. It's not so difficult to solve this equation, right, everyone? Is this clear how I did this? Any questions about this? Yes? Okay, what does this mean in this equation? I have given you a lens, right? If I've given you a lens, what's fixed is the focal length, right? Now, if the focal length is fixed, then if I change the object distance, I have to have that 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance is equal to 1 over focal length. What happens if object distance changes? Image distance has to change too, such that the sum of these remains equal to 1 over the focal length. The right-hand side is fixed, so if I change one, the other changes. So if this increases, what will happen to... So if D0 increases, what happens? If D0 increases, 1 over D0 decreases, right? So if this is decreasing, if the right-hand side is fixed, this should increase. That means 1 over di has to increase. That means di has to decrease. So d0 increases, di decreases. Okay, you move the object further away, the image is going to move closer. And vice versa. Yes? You can kind of, for a converging lens, divide what happens into three categories. If the object is, so if the object is at 2f, which is the example we just saw, so when d0 is equal to 2f, we got that di is equal to 2f and magnification is negative 1. So when the object distance is exactly twice the focal length we found in that example, that the image distance is also twice the focal length, but it is a real image, so it's inverted, which means the magnification is negative and is equal to, a, has a magnitude of 1 because these two are equal. What happens if I move the object distance further away? What's going to happen is that the image remains inverted because it will remain real, and as I said, the image distance decreases, that means the magnification is going to go down. The image is inverted and smaller than the object. Between twice the focal length and the focal length, what happens is you still have a real inverted image, but you have an image that's larger than the object. And once again, you can check that this is the case with this equation. 
basically if this is less than 2f but larger than f okay you're going to find that the image distance you can see this from symmetry right the object and the image distance they are going to behave exactly these two terms in this equation have the same weight if you like right 